Hey there! In this video, we're going to very quickly connect an Amazon Web Services MySQL database to Cloud9 using Node.js. This isn't all that difficult, but some of the documentation is a little scattered and it can be frustrating if you're coming from something like MongoDB and have enjoyed the ease of setup with something like MLAP. The way we're going to do this isn't very secure, but it can be nice if you don't really care about the data and just want to get going quickly. Every now and then, I'll run scripts on my Raspberry Pi, collecting things like Twitter feeds or other random data, and it can be nice to have a copy of it somewhere that's easily accessible if I want to look at it outside of my home network. I'll make a follow-up video later if you're interested in doing this a little more securely, but for now, let's get started. First, we'll go over to Amazon Web Services and start the database instance. This takes a few minutes to set up, so we'll get this going while we set up the rest of the application. We'll head down to Database, and we'll select RDS. You may see this screen, you may see another screen that'll say Get Started. Um, but either way, we're going to get started and launch a database instance. Next, we'll go down and make sure that we're only enabling the options that are eligible for the free usage tier so that we don't have to pay anything while we're learning. Then select MySQL and click Next. Clicking that checkbox set up a lot of the uh, default settings up here, so we'll leave them as they are. And then we'll create our custom settings for our instance. I'm going to call this connect C9 because we're connecting to Cloud9. As a master username, I'm just going to use my default name for things. And then a master password, I'm just going to go here and generate a random password. Paste that here and here. And I'm going to head back to Cloud9 to make sure that I don't lose that password. Go ahead and click Next, and if you don't see any warnings, we'll get to the next, uh, next screen here. Leave everything here default, and then we're going to set up our first database. Uh, so for this, let's just call this um, Messages. Why not? Um, we'll go through, leave everything else default and go down and launch our database instance. Okay, if you didn't get any warnings, that means the database is being created. So we can go here, click to view, and we should see a screen like this while our database is setting up. So we'll go ahead and leave this here and head back to Cloud9 to finish setting up the rest of our app. Back in Cloud9, we're going to start with creating a simple schema file to set up our database. So we'll just call this this. Open that up. Oops. All we're going to have is one table in our database, which we'll just call words. And inside this, we'll just have one item that we'll call the word. And then to seed this database, we'll just add a few values. just like that. Now earlier I said we we're going to be using Node.js to connect to our database. So one of the things that that gives us is the Node Package Manager, which makes it very easy to install the drivers that are required for the connection. 
we'll head down to our terminal. We'll just type in npm install MySQL. And with this command, we'll get everything that we need for this connection. Go back to our main directory and we'll create a new file called app.js. Now I'm not making a package.json or an npm init file um, because we're just trying to save some time here and get this connection up and running as quickly as possible. We'll go ahead and open this. First thing we're going to do in here is require that package and then we're going to have to make an actual connection. And in here we'll put each of the parameters that are going to be required. that we will receive from Amazon Web Services once our instance is finished setting up. Now once we have this connection, using the Amazon uh, documentation, we can do a quick check of this connection. which will give us a quick way to check and make sure um, that all of our settings are correct. So now that we're done here, our instance should be finished setting up. So we'll head back over to Amazon and we'll scroll down, whoops, try refreshing. And we'll scroll down to this connect section here. So our endpoint is going to be our host. Go ahead and copy that. Our port is 3306. Our user is the user that we chose earlier. Our password is what I saved here. And our database is the name of that first database, which if you don't remember, you can go down to details and then it'll show up down here. Okay, and we should be able to save that. And normally, we should be able to run this right now. Unfortunately, we get an error for a timeout issue. And this is where the frustration can start to set in. What we need to do is go back to Amazon Web Services and change our security settings. If we go up here, we have in our connection section a set of security group rules, which shows that our outbound traffic is not controlled at all. The trouble is getting that connection to go into the database. So we'll click this here. We will go to actions for the security group and we're going to edit our inbound rules. 
all we're going to do is replace all of these numbers with zeros. Click Save. Now if we go back to our console and refresh, scroll down to connections, we should see all these zeros here for our inbound traffic. This is where things start to lose their security because we're giving all of these rights here to any attempted connection in. Now if we go back to Cloud9 and try to rerun that script, we get our message connected to database. So let's go ahead and kill that. Take this and we'll comment that out for now. And next, we're going to launch the command line interface for this um, database. So normally with Cloud9, you can just type in MySQL CTL oops, uh, and open up the command line interface that way. But we don't want to connect to the Cloud9 instance, we want to connect to the Amazon Web Services. So this becomes a little trickier. Um, we're going to type in MySQL down here. Then we're going to have to enter the host name that we have right here. Then we want to enter our port. And then our username. and try to request for that password. Gives us the prompt to enter our password. Oops. Paste that there. And now we're into our regular command line interface. So we're gonna to go to our schema file. We'll go ahead and create that table. Paste that there. Oops. Of course, I haven't selected the database yet, so we're going to use messages. There we go. Now we can go ahead and create that table. Okay, that's good. That's what we wanted to see. And now we'll insert some values into that table. And now from here, we should be able to select all from our table words. Okay, that looks good. So now that we know that we can work with our database through the command line, let's go ahead and work with it through Node. The way the MySQL driver works for Node.js is pretty straightforward. We're going to make a query string. Same one we just did. And then we're going to use our connection object again. This time query. the results and just to be good let's end that connection right there okay so once we have this we should be able to run this and we've now retrieved data from our database through node um, in cloud nine and we're able to pull from our Amazon uh, instance. So that's it for this. Uh, very bare bones 
we didn't really do anything here except get that connection. Um, but from here, you can use all your SQL skills and all your node skills to uh, basically create whatever you want. So thanks for watching.